This week on the show, we've got you covered with the coolest ways to celebrate dad. Today, it's all about spoiling him with delicious food. Chef Randy Feltis is here with a great recipe for any day, but definitely a favorite for Father's Day. I need to be where you are. You're doing grilled chicken wings with buffalo and ranch sauce. Um, you can take a look at what you need for this recipe, but tell us a little bit, Randy, about why you decided to go with this one. Listen, every dad loves chicken wings. That is just the thing we like. We want steak, we want beer, we want chicken wings. One of the three or two of the three is definitely hit, but if you can give us all three, that is a beautiful day. Um, and I feel like, you know, especially after the lockdown, a lot of people were trying different chicken wing recipes at home because they weren't using deep fryers. And a grilled chicken wing is one of the best ways to enjoy it because it's a little bit healthier until mm. we pour the ranch on, of course. And it's just delicious. It's fall off the bone good times. Okay, so you got your chicken wings ready to go. You got the people in the pool. How do we start the recipe? Okay, really simple. I'm going, as soon as I'm done here, I'm going in the pool as well. Um, we've got just about a pound and a half here. And a couple of things we want to do is kind of dry them out because we still want that crispiness. So cornstarch plays a really important part of that. It's going to grab onto the skin. It's going to kind of make it a little bit crispy and dry it out a little bit. It's also going to allow the, the wings not to stick with each other. I also add a tiny bit of breadcrumbs. I don't want them breaded because we know breaded wings aren't as good. That is a true story. But we do want a little <laughs> bit of breadcrumbs on there so when that fat melts Tracy that the bread is just gonna hug the chicken wing and the chicken wings gonna be like hey what's going on that's fantastic um, for flavor we're gonna add some rosemary and then we're also add a little bit of mustard powder because that is good times mm. Tracy what do you know about the chicken wing I know how to eat them very well <laughs> well, we're going to talk about flats and drums later on as well. But did you know that the original chicken wing was discovered deep frying and then throwing in buffalo sauce in the anchor bar in 1964? No, I didn't know that. And I want to know this. Are buffalo wings really from Buffalo? Yes, the anchor bar from Buffalo. Buffalo, New York, yeah. Okay. That's where they're from. Now, I'm sure people were eating chicken wings before that, but they were really the first ones that could do their seal of approval. Still in business today, and you can go there and enjoy a chicken wing. So grilling these beauties, what we're going to do is get our grill super hot, like six to 700 degrees, and we're going to go upper deck on it. We're going to go to the top shelf because we don't want the flare-ups, and we're just going to lay these down. But you can see, like, they are kind of, like, not sticking together. They're dry. They got a little bit of the flavor on there. But what's going to happen is the heat is going to start rendering off and that's when we're going to start getting our crispiness. Now do you need to do anything to those wings before you throw them on the barbecue? Like do you have to do the parboil or anything like that? Oh my stars, no way. That's what makes <laughs> this actually so easy and so accessible, Trace, because it's really that simple. Now you want to have a better barbecue, one that doesn't have a lot of flare-ups on it, and you want to go that second shelf and get that heat spinning in there. But I'm talking like I moved them after I think 10 minutes, we start to see a bit of smoke in the back, and you can hear the odd flare-up going, but it doesn't go to the top shelf. Mm. And then we turn them when they're golden, right? And we get some color, and then we like turn them again and we get a little bit more color. But what we need to do, we as we're cooking those is get our buffalo sauce ready so I don't know if you know this but we're gonna need a little bit <gasps> of butter oh my gosh I was wondering what that was it's butter like the whole package <laughs> Mm. Like, it's a quarter cup, and I mean, you could have extra here, but with them, we're also going to do a quarter cup of your favorite hot sauce. Okay. A little bit of Worcestershire. Mm hmm. All on that big stick of butter. Lemon zest. <laughs> yep. All in the big stick of butter, right? <laughs> Lemon zest. And then as well, some lemon juice. Real simple. Now, we just need to throw that on the grill as well and get that a little bit warm. Nice. So now, Tracy, are you ready to see the crispy chicken wing? Yeah, I wanna see the crispy chicken wing. Let's check them out. Here we go, just off the top shelf here. Oh, nice. Now, you are going to hear this. You guys having a barroom brawl in your backyard with the dogs? 
I know. It's the neighbor's dog, Tracy. It's always the neighbor's dog. Our dog's an angel. They probably want the wings, Randy. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> they were pretty quiet until we started throwing the wings on. You're absolutely right. But just listen to that, Trace. You can hear the crispiness. You can feel better because they didn't go in the deep fryer. So you don't mind adding that butter into that hot sauce. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to take that hot sauce after we melted it all down and just, oh boy. Yeah, you, and then you're not using the whole thing of butter. See, you're going to have some left over for the next time. There's lots left there. But now mm -hmm. this is the important part. This is like everybody that ever did any line cooking. This is their favorite part. They're just going to toss those up in the bowl like that and get them completely glazed up. And then. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Wait. Now, Trace, you know, fathers, it's really important. Health is very important to all of our fathers, right? Yeah. We're going to make sure everyone stays healthy and everything's good here. So we're basically going to make this a salad now. And we're just going <laughs> to toss some veggies on there like that. And basically, you know, you I got some hearts of romaine chef? here. Mm -hmm. So healthy. <laughs> this, is, this is a salad, right? This is looking very saladish. And now. <laughs> With our salad, dads love, love ranch oh, dressing. Yeah, baby. So we're just going to kind of throw that down like this. Make sure we get it right on those hearts of romaine. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now, Trace, is Leo a flats or a drum? And are you a flats or a drum? Because this is very important. This is almost like a relationship question. It is. So I'm a drum, he's a flat. So everything works out. You we guys all know what we're going for. Yeah, you're pretty much perfect. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. And look, this is important for the younger people out there. If you're like going on a date, you need to ask this on the first question or maybe you need to go out and order chicken wings and find out which one they want to go to and because it might not work in the long term. Right. Well, somebody in the relationship is going to have to compromise if you're both drums, right? That looks beautiful. That That's is valid. stunning. Uh, Dad will absolutely love that. I would love that. Delicious. Thank you, Randy.